Monetary Data Analysis course. Myself, Assistant Professor Vinay Prabhavalkar at the Department of CSE AML at KITS College of Engineering, Autonomous Kolhapur. This is lesson 4 from unit number 1. The objective of this particular lesson are linear relationship between variables. So, let us get started. Let us first of all understand the meaning of the word relationship. A relationship is nothing but it is a connection between two or more entities. In this case, we are talking about the relationship between variables. So, when we say relationship, here we are precisely looking at a linear connection, a linear association between two variables. So, basically, a linear relationship is nothing but it is a statistical concept. This particular concept satisfies a mathematical formula of line which is nothing but y is equal to mx plus b. In this particular formula, we have two variables. First is the x variable which is called as the independent variable which is going to form the x axis of our graph and the y variable which is called as the dependent variable because this variable is dependent on the x axis. Then we have the third point here which is nothing but m. The m is nothing but the slope of the line and lastly p, b is nothing but it is called as the y intercept. So, this is the formula of line which I suppose that you might have already learned in your previous classes. Now, let us understand some more thing regarding the linear relationship between variables. Another point that we should note here is whenever we talk about linear relationship, we should have at max two variables into picture. Secondly, when we talk about the two variables, whenever we have a change in one of the variables, the change will be accommodated in the other variable. Precisely what I mean here is, if the value of x is changed, the value of y variable is also going to change in a similar proportion. So, let us understand this particular concept with the help of this graph here. Let us suppose on the x axis, I have an independent variable, let me call this as sales and on the y variable or the y axis, I have the y variable which is called as profit. Now, we all know that if the sales of some XYZ commodity increases, the profit might also increase. So, in this particular context, our X variable which is nothing but sales is going to be called as the independent variable and our Y variable will be called as the dependent variable. Now, let me hypothetically plot two points over here. Let these be my two points. Okay. Let me darken it here for your understanding. These are my two points. Suppose the value of this particular point on x axis is 20. Suppose my sales is 20. That is the meaning. And if I am drawing a profit of let us say 2. Now, 2 can be taken as in rupees because we are talking about profit, right? So, this is my first point. Then let us consider the second point here. Suppose the sales is 30, some 30 units. Now, if I draw the per perpendicular on the y axis, let me say I am drawing a profit of 4 rupees. Similarly, if I draw a line between them, then I actually get a linear relationship between the two points. 
right now let me extend this particular example and let me plot another point over here right so this plot this point will be my point number three okay so this is our point number three now if we again draw the perpendicular on both the axis you can see that a line can be extended further let me call this as 40 on the x-axis and let me put this as 6 on y-axis. So, if I just extend this particular line, what I can say is there is a linear relationship between the two variables, the sales and the profit. So, basically this is the meaning of linear relationship between the variables. So, as it is quite clear from this particular drawing that as the sales are increasing in this particular example, the profit is also increasing because we are able to draw a line over here. So, that is the exact meaning of linear relationship between the variables. I hope this is now clear to you. Let me extend this particular concept of linear relationship and share some more information with you. So, here in this particular slide, there is one word that is called as correlation which is highlighted written in bold letters. Why this is because this particular term is going to give us two things regarding the relationship between the variables. First is the strength and second thing is the direction. So, strength is nothing but how strongly the two x and y variables are connected with each other. So, that is the strength and the direction is nothing but whether it is in a uh, direct proportion or a indirect proportion. In other words, whether it is a positive correlation or a negative correlation, this is something that we get to understand over here. So, let me tell you that this concept of correlation is very much used in the field of data science. Now, let us go ahead and interpret the diagrams alongside. We will consider the first diagram over here. This is the first, let me call this as one. We can see at the bottom, the figure is named as positive correlation. So, here basically this is a scatter plot. Now, if you see the scatter plot closely, a red line is drawn through these points and the conclusion that can be made in this point A or say type part A of this particular image is this is called as a positive correlation. This is because as the points increases, let me just draw the perpendiculars. Let me pick up a few points and see how we are getting to this particular conclusion. So, I have considered three points over here, this particular point, then this particular point and then this particular point. So, as on the x axis, the values are increasing on the y axis, the values are also increasing. So, this is called as a positive correlation. This is in a way a relationship between the two variables and here we are actually getting the strength and direction of both the connections or rather I would say the connection between them. Now, let us go to point number 2 or the part B of this image that is negative correlation. Here, the relation is exactly the reverse way, the connection is exactly the reverse way. Let me consider uh, this particular point. Let me consider, let us say, I, if I draw the perpendicular, I am actually getting here. Let me consider this particular point. And let me consider the last point over here. If you see this, for this particular point, the value of x is less, whereas the value of y is more. If I move on this side, we are at the mid part of the value of x and similarly, we are at the mid part of the value of y. If I go to the further right, I am having the farthest value of x, meaning here starting with the 0 for each one of them, right. So, I have the maximum value for x, let us say, and I am coming to the minimum value of y. So, here the correlation is negative. Why we can say this is because if the value of x increases in this case, the value of y will decrease if the value of uh, or the vice versa situation. So, this is called as negative correlation. 
I hope this is now clear. So, the positive correlation and the negative correlation, both these points are actually working in a reverse way to each other. And then we have the third variation here talking about the relationship between variables, which is nothing but no correlation. So, you can see here there is no correlation between the variables. So, I hope this point of relationship between the variables is now clear to you with the help of the correlation concept which is used in the field of data science as well. Let us see another image which is going to give us another perspective of this particular point. Now, here again we are talking about a relationship between variables precisely the correlation. We have already seen the concept of direction and strength, but here we are talking about another concept that is called as dispersion. So, we are already well versed with the first three points here that is positive correlation, negative correlation and no correlation which we have seen in the previous slide. right? Now, let us talk about the third point that is nothing but dispersion. So, in case of dispersion you can see here the middle line we have to consider this particular middle line and this middle line we have the points alongside, some points are on the line and some points are away from the line. So, you can see the blue colored arrow over here which is actually giving us the dispersion. So, this particular dispersion is actually going to give us the strength. So, here we have another perspective of this particular scatter plot which is nothing but the strength and the dispersion of the points. Since these points are close to the line, it is a stronger correlation. Now, let us go to this image here. In this particular image, this one we are talking about the weaker correlation. In case of weaker correlation, we can clearly see the points are far away from the center line. right? So, when we have the points closer to the line, we are going to call it as a stronger correlation, whereas when the points are away from the line, we are going to call it as a weaker correlation. Now, there is another variation of correlation which is nothing but the non-linear co correlation wherein we cannot draw a line, but we can fit a curve. But this particular concept is not the topic for this particular lesson. I hope with all these discussions, the concept of linear relationship between variables is clear to you. So, this is the end of this particular lesson. In next lesson, we will learn the concept of normal distribution. Thank you.